Tyrannosaurus Rex. The one dinosaur that needs no introduction. Even if you aren't a fan of these ancient creatures or the countless movies they've starred in, if you haven't become familiar with a T-Rex in your life already, I'd be shocked. Something that is not as universally known as the T-Rex itself is the family of dinosaurs that this species resides in, known as Tyrannosaurs. While the Rex is easily the most famous, there are countless other Tyrannosaurs that have been discovered, and even more that may be lost to time. This video is going to be discussing the brand new Tyrannosaur that was recently discovered and identified in Canada. Let's get to it. Throughout the video, I will refer to this new Tyrannosaur as the Reaper, but its scientific name is Thanatotheristes digruturum, a real mouthful of a name that I hope I did justice in pronouncing. The name combines the Greek word for Reaper of Death with the name of the family that discovered the fossils in 2010 during a stroll across the shore of a Canadian river, the De Groots. For years, the fossils stayed stored away at the Royal Tyrell Museum until an unlikely young paleontologist student, Jared Voris, made one hell of a discovery. Something about the jaw of this fossil was different than other known tyrannosaurs. The most obvious difference being the clear as day vertical ridges that ran along the upper jaw. Voris stated that one discovery led to another and then another, until they finally found out that this was an entirely new species of dinosaur. He had followed the clues and was the primary reason in this ancient animal being brought back to earth in the minds of us humans, all at the age of 25. While the fossils were very limited, only being fragments of the beast's jaw and skull, Jared estimated that the animal was around 26 feet or 8 meters in length, nearly had a 3 foot skull, stood somewhere around 8 to 10 feet or around 3 meters tall, and had 3 inch teeth. Comparing this to a T-Rex, which is known to have grown over 40 feet long, 15 to 20 feet tall at the top of its head, and having a massive 5 foot skull with teeth that were as big as a banana, and you can see that the Reaper was estimated to be around half the size of the Tyrant King. The Reaper roamed Earth at around 12 million years prior to the Rex, and is not believed to be an ancestor of Jurassic Park's star, but more like a distant cousin but that didn't stop it from being a menacing and extraordinary beast. The team that made this discovery, like Jared, asks all lovers of our beautiful nature to keep your eyes open when you adventure across the lands. Just like the Degroots, you don't have to go to school for six to eight years to stumble across the fossils of an animal that no one knew even existed. We are in the golden age of paleontology, with the new generation of explorers, paleontologists, scientists, and just everyday people making new discoveries all the time. You never know what you may find when you set foot out into our fantastic natural world. <laughs> 